Gameplay goes on forever. Yeah. It was to do with the bit where um, the PlayStation 2 brigade are mostly responsible for this. We got obsessed with technology. We got obsessed with photorealism, and we got obsessed with great big long cinematics, and we got obsessed with bloom and shadow effects and the controller, and using every single button on the controller. If you didn't use every single button, including the ones you have to press down on the thumb controllers, which I've always found quite difficult, clumsy monkey hands that I have. Um, and actually, that became dominant. It was no longer about the game. It was no longer about the gameplay. It was about what could we do with the technology to make it look wonderful. And while that's impressive, it's not actually very deep. It's not very lasting because the technology is constantly improving. And so what was really interesting is really great games weren't actually defined by their technological leaps. They ended up being defined by their gameplay. And I was trying to make the point that as a designer, as a game makers, our, our idea should be to try and aim for gameplay because that's where all the joy, it's where all the long-term joy is. Whereas if you just go for like technological achievement, although it looks interesting and has a short lifespan, we go, whoa, brilliant. Sooner or later, it looks really ropey. It's like being fashionable. If you're fashionable, there's a period of your life where you're fashionable, but then five years later, every photograph of you, you just look like an idiot because you're no longer fashionable. And it was sort of like that. You know, I, I wanted people to get back to gameplay, gameplay being king. And what's great about modern gaming is we've actually got back there. Uh, gameplay is, you know, Xbox Live Indie, where you can download crazy things done by, uh, you know, normal indie people, games, right? indie games. Um, Things like Braid, where he's just gone for, gone for gameplay. Uh, you know, uh, um, the Flash stuff, uh, one more level, all that sort of thing. It's really interesting seeing gameplay come back with, with a vengeance uh, and for people to be playing games because it's a nice mechanic. It's what the iPhone does really well. Mm -hmm. If you have a nice mechanic, you can have a game. You no longer need a huge CGI thing. And it doesn't mean that you can't have things that are technologically impressive. You can. They're just momentous moments of hoo -hoo. So now, with a game like Warhammer Online or PC games in general, for me, it's, it's, it's almost like a form of social media. And so for me to hear that you were going to be the governor of my outer space, I was absolutely thrilled because I can't see anybody else being the governor of a planet of a social media site that doesn't know how, you know, things like social media or, you know, just life within a, a PC type of world works. What was it about my outer space that intrigued you to want to come in and, and do things and be the governor and work with kids? The core idea behind, uh, the, the entire idea behind my outer space is saying, have you got an interest, a passion, a fire, a light for something? And if you have, here is a place to go where you can meet like-minded individuals. More importantly, have you got an interest in actually contributing, helping, seeking information and wisdom? If you are, if you're coming somewhere where you can look and take part in something you adore, and you can ask safe questions, harvest important information, be part of something bigger, that's, that's a great and noble venture, and there are very few people doing it. And they're certainly not doing it to the breadth and scope that my outer space wants to do, where it's going, hey, are you interested in sci-fi? Are you interested in horror? Are you interested in fantasy? Are you interested in movies? Are you interested in acting, voiceover, novels? Do you want to draw pictures? Do you want to do scripts? Do you want to do computer games? But what do you want to do? And how can you meet other people that are doing it? And if you're there struggling, the one thing I would have loved to have had when I was little was a place like this to go where I could go, I so desperately just want to share views and learn and find out how to do it. And I don't want to have to go to official sites. I don't want to have to go to industry sites. Mm. I want to go with BMO with my people. I, I can't afford a ticket to GDC. I can't fly out there. I wouldn't understand half the stuff if they told it. I want somewhere safe where I can meet with people who are like-minded, share views, and learn. I won't call you a noob with two zeros in it. Yeah, and, and yeah, basically look down on you because you're you're daring to look up. And and so my other space actually captures that vibe really, really well. And you know, and why am I doing it? I, I was asked very nicely. Um, and everyone I met was really uh, passionate 
and they really do seem utterly genuine in trying to allow people who really give a damn about something they love to take part in it. Why wouldn't I do it? Now, last question I have for you, and then we're going to let you go, is, you know, we are coming into that hardcore convention season, E3, Comic-Con, you know, everything under the sun, PAX West. Where can we see you at these, any of these? <laughs> yeah, the grand tour. Uh, I'll be at E3. I'm actually on the stage at E3, uh, sort of doing the, the bridging between all the different um, games, which is really, really fun. We've got lots of really interesting things happening there. Uh, I'll be at PAX, PAX Prime, which is in Seattle. I'll be off in Cologne for the big European... For the, uh, yeah, there's a huge game in Germany, It used to be in Leipzig, Germany, right? but, but it's in Cologne this year, so hopefully the food's better. Um, but more importantly, you'll be able to follow it on the website, you'll be able to follow it on my outer space. You'll be able to take part in these things. If you can't get there, then this is an ideal place to find out what's going on and where, what's happening and why it's important. And we can share information there as much as we can share it being at the shows. But if you're at the show, come and say hello, because it's important to do that. Bridge the gap. Don't be afraid. Make yourself accessible. Absolutely. I, I do want to, uh, once again, welcome you to my outer space. Thank oh. you so much for being the governor of Sirius. And I can't wait to see what you have coming up game-wise that you can't really talk about. But the I can't secret wait to projects. See the secret projects. We did get green light, though, so that was very yeah. good. Paul Burnett, always a pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you very much. For myouterspace.com, I'm Craig Lee. Good. <laughs>